Okay, now let's talk about how to make the application of CST exam. To make the application of CST exam, you have to go to Azure website and open an account there. It is quite simple. I don't have to show it to you. I think everyone can do it. Uh, now you have to find out all the information that is available regarding to Azure. You can Google and find out this link. Uh, I'll try to put this link at the detail of the YouTube video. Okay. So all the description and information of the CSD exam is given here. CSD advantage of taking the exam, check the eligibility, apply now. So here you can go and apply, testing, get exam ready and the certification. Okay, uh, apply now. Now, if you go to the apply now, uh, apply for CSD exam, application fees is given here for a member. It is 495 US dollar. And for the developing countries, it is 295 US dollar only. And if you're not a member, it is 745 US dollar for you. So better be a member and apply. It is cheaper that way. Now, if you get into these, okay, let's wait. Right. So this is the application interface. We have it. The very first thing that we face in here. Yeah, it is a yes and no choice. Usually you always have to say yes. I give Ashe permission to verify the information within as being true and accurate. If you say no, that is not the right answer. You have to say yes. Then please select an exam location. Okay, test center. Select application type. First one is certified SVAC designer DE 295 US dollar. Uh, First retake. If you fail, then if you want to retake it, it is two one third US dollar, and if you want to retake for a second time, it is two ninety five US dollar, and for this certification again two ninety five US dollar. So for now, you're going to select this one certified as which is an ID two ninety five US dollar. If you have any discount code with you, you can put the discount code here. Okay, contact information. These all informations are being faced from. The information that you have given during opening a uh, account at Azure website, you can anytime go and change it if you find it is uh, not the accurate one. Okay, now, which form of identification will you be using? Usually, I use passport. You can use a permanent resident card. Passport is easier, convenient for me. And then you have to give all the information uh, relevant to your photo ID card, for instance, your first name, last name, middle name, all of the stuff. And you have to be always agree. You see, there is no disagree button, so you have to agree. Okay. Are you familiar with Azure standard? And uh, for, for the certification, even you are not, uh, you have to put yes here. Always say yes. Are you a English speaker? For me, I'm not a native English speaker, so non-native English speaker. And I have to give my native language, Bangla, for me, as a Bangladeshi. Okay, if you are non-native English speaker, please provide your name, email, and other details, so I can put my name, and first name, last name, and email ID again here. What did you hear about the certification? Okay, so let's say you have heard it from, uh, from some colleague, you can put it like this way. Okay, why are you applying for the certification? Anything is correct. So let's say uh, customer requirement, maybe. Required by government, uh, local, okay, you can put it in here. Uh, this is not actually very important. You can select anything, they're just taking some survey for themselves. Uh, it is not important for you. We can let everything is also okay. See, <laughs> okay, eligibility. Okay, the option one, if you have a bachelor's degree, uh, you're going to need two years of HVAC design work experience. And remember, this is design work experience, not installation experience, not calibration experience, not any other experience they are talking about. They're talking about design work experience. So you have to put your, put the name of your university or college here. Let's say my one is universe. Technology in Malaysia, so I put it like this. 
Type the degree you have earned. I have earned Bachelor of Engineering. Again, you have to put some reference here for me. My I put my reference of my friend and my colleague, Mitchell Rahman. And say the other one last time. Oh, this is first time and last time. Okay, Rahman. And I ask for his email address, and you can put the email address of your reference here. Option two is associated degree or technical degree or certification design if it is applicable for you. In that case, you're going to need three years of HVAC design work experience. Again, the same manner, you have to put your reference name. And if you have a high school diploma only, then you're going to need five years of design experience. Uh, in the same similar fashion, you have to put the name of your school and you have to put the name of your reference. Then you're going to put the gate card detail. After this, uh, you can go to the code of ethics, doesn't matter. You have to be agree. And again, agree with the agreement. Again, agree. You can read. <laughs> you can really read, but you have to agree. Then you are going to submit your application. So remember, as you submit your application, your credit card will not be charged because they are going to verify your application. So after making the application, you're going to get this email from ASHRAE. So they're going to say uh, your application is under review. So they're going to review your application. Let me I don't know, use the annotation device here. Okay, let me apply it. Okay, it's going to work. So application is under review. They're going to review your application and going to get back to you. Once it is accepted, they're going to charge your credit card. Uh, if it is not accepted, they're not going to charge your credit card. Confirmation, they usually take seven business days. However, in my case, they were at a rush. They took around three weeks. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a winter uh, time, so they say they are really very busy at winter, so they're going to need some time. But usually they take seven days uh, as for them, as for Asher. Proof of payment. So the payment you can get in the Astro website. You can log into the Astro website in your profile. You can get the payment detail after you have finished your payment. Okay. And Asher is really responsive. If you uh, face any problem, you can email, like I have emailed them so many times, asking them what is the status, uh, when I going to get um, my application being approved or not. So they actually uh, respond. So once it is approved, they are going to send you an email again, as a certification exam scheduling. Okay. So like this one, they have sent me an email, Susan. So they say the email service formal notification of approval. So again, let me fix it. Okay. Formal approval to see the CST exam. And they are going to give me additional 30 minutes as I'm a non-native English speaker. And I can sit for the exam at any criterion center. So, now you have to find your nearest criterion center, Google it. You can really, you know, it's criterion center everywhere. There are around 1,000 test centers, so you can imagine how many test centers are there. Okay, important notes are here. You may begin scheduling your CSD exam on February 1st. So February 1st, 2024 onward, they ask me, you know, if you want, you can, you know, reschedule it. And they sent me the email, the deadline is May. So February, March, April, May, February, March, April, May. So they gave me a three months window to sit for the exam after the application is approved. And then gave me exam voucher here. Okay, so all the details are in here. I have to go to the web assessor account. At the web assessor account, I have to log in and apply for, uh, using this particular coupon. Okay, so now these are all very simple. You can uh, do it by yourself. After this,
exam registration confirmation. I, as I did my exam registration, they sent me an email uh, of exam con confirmation. So my exam was uh, 60, 30 minutes extra as a non native speaker. Exam duration was 180 minutes, so three hours for me. For you, if you are an English speaker, native English speaker, it is going to be two uh, hours and 30, 30 minutes less than me. Okay, this is my exam location in here. And what you must bring at the exam, at the exam you must bring the exam authorization code, you'll get the authorization code over email. And you must bring two forms of identification. Uh, for the identification, it is always good to carry passport and maybe green card or maybe some residency card or driving license is okay. But do not bring your credit card or debit card, that is not going to work. What not to bring? So obviously, you know, you cannot bring a programmable calculator. You do not need to bring any backpack or electronic device. Uh, at the exam, it is allowed to use a non-programmable, normal calculator. And if you want to cancel, uh, you have to uh, give a 72 hour period notice. Okay, so this is what I have got after making the reservation of the exam on WebSSR account. And as my exam completed, so on the exam day, I finished my exam and when the exam is completed, they sent me this email. Um, they sent me this email in a very, very short time, I guess, within like 20 minutes, I got this email. And they are going to say, congratulations, you have passed the exam, like this one I have got for myself. My time to exam result is passed. So that is enough for you. Uh, for me, I took 163 minutes out of 180 minutes. So I get like 70 minutes, 17 minutes is still extra for me. Okay. So they're going to give uh, a disc, the whole description of your score for me for the CS domain one. Uh, system design, I scored 36 out of 40, so it is almost 80 percent. Domain 2, I scored uh, 27 out of 30, so I guess more than 80 percent, uh, 90 percent maybe, yeah, it is about 90 percent. And then Domain 3, I scored around 7 out of uh, 10, so it is about oh, 70 percent at Domain 3 and procedural. I did very bad at coordination, I scored only 15 out of 20. So maybe next time I do it better. Uh, there is no next time I think I have passed the exam. So, okay. Now, as you pass the exam, then they're going to also send some more email regarding digital bears and certification. So all the description relevant to digital bears and how you're going to get the digital bears will be in here. Uh, you can get it from Kerry. Very simple. You can just follow those steps and uh, do it on your own. Okay, so that would be all about how to apply for CSTF ex exam. It's very easy and simple. Um, so good luck for your exam.